Hello class, welcome to my channel. In this video, our main topic is all about the remainder theorem. Okay, so bago natin gamitin si remainder theorem, alamin muna natin kung saan ba siya nang galing. So, suppose that P of x equals x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x minus 6 and Q of x is equal to x minus 2. What will be the remainder when P of x is divided by Q of x? So, of course, ang gagamitin natin dito is yung synthetic division kung saan makakapag-divide tayo ng polynomials ng mabilis. Okay? So, using the coefficients ng ating dividend at saka yung r galing sa ating divisor, so, makikita natin na yung ating remainder is negative 14. Okay? So, ngayon, let's try naman natin gamitin yung root of x galing kay divisor, which is the same nung ginagamit natin sa upper left doon sa ating synthetic division. Then, isolve natin si P of x. Okay? So, we have P of x equals x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x minus 6. Then, gamitin natin yung r. Okay? So, dito yung r natin is 2. Then, ang P of 2 natin, lahat ng x dito sa ating polynomials magiging 2. So, we have 2 cubed minus 5 times 2 squared plus 2 times 2 minus 6. Then, simplify natin. We have 2 cubed, that is 8. 2 squared, that is 4. Times 5, we have 20. Then, 2 times 2, 4. Then, bring down negative 6. Then, combine natin to. 8 minus 20, we have negative 12. Plus 4, that is negative 8. Then, minus 6, we have negative 14. So, so as you notice, makapansin nyo yung remainder natin dun sa ating synthetic division is pareha sa nakuha natin nung sinabstitute natin yung 2 na galing sa ating divisor okay, doon sa ating polynomial. So, nagkaroon tayo ngayon ng theory. Okay? So, instead of using synthetic division to get the remainder, ang gagawin na lang natin is isa-substitute natin yung yung R na galing sa ating divisor kapunta doon sa ating dividend. Okay? So, na nagkaroon tayo ngayon ng remainder theorem. The remainder when a polynomial P of X is divided by X minus R is equal to P of R. So, in, in, in equation, that is P of R. Ito yung R, yung galing sa ating divisor. Then, yung P, ito yung ating dividend. Pag ginawa natin yan, ang makukuha natin is yung remainder. Okay? So, let's have example number 1. Find the remainder when 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 is divided by x plus 3. So, ang first step natin dito, identify nyo muna si dividend. So, ang dividend natin dito is yung 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. After nyo ma-identify si dividend, kukunin na natin yung ating r. So, si r is manggagaling dito sa ating divisors. So, ang normally, ang divisor, ang format niya is x minus r. So, dito meron tayong x plus r. So, ang gagawin natin, yung x plus 3 natin, magpa-factor tayo ng negative galing kay 3. Then, si 3 magiging negative 3. Tama? Kasi pag binalik lang naman natin yung negative, magkakaroon tayo ng negative times negative. So, babalik tayo din sa plus. So, same lang yung dalawang binomial. So, dito, may identify natin na yung ating r is equal to negative 3. Okay? So, pwede na natin gamitin si r dito sa ating polynomial. So, p of negative 3. So, since dito ang x natin is negative 3, so lahat ng x sa ating polynomial magiging negative 3. 
So, 2 times negative 3 squared minus 3 times negative 3 plus 5. Simplify. P of negative 3 equals negative 3 squared, that is positive 9, times 2, we have 18. Negative 3 times negative 3, that is positive 9. Plus 5, then P of negative 3, we have 18 plus 9, 27, plus 5, 32. So therefore, the remainder when 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 is divided by x plus 3 is 32. Yan yung ating remainder. Nakuha ba guys? So let's have another example. Find the remainder when 8x squared plus 4x minus 2 is divided by 2x minus 1. So again, ang ating first step is to identify the dividend. So ang dividend natin dito is yung 8x squared plus 4x minus 2. After natin ma-identify si, si dividend, ahanapin natin si R. Then si R is manggagaling sa ating divisor. So normally, ang ating divisor is in the form of x minus R. So in our case, we have 2x minus 1. So, paano natin makukukuha si R? So, ang gagawin nyo dyan, ipa-factor out natin si 2 galing dun kay X. Pag pinactor out natin yan, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng X minus 1 half. Okay? So, pag dinistribute nyo yung 2 dito, magiging 2X tapos minus 2 times 1 half magiging 1. So, same lang ulit sila. So, in this case, Ma-identify na natin si R, which is equivalent to 1 half. Okay? So, kung ang R natin is 1 half, lalagay lang natin yan dito. So, we have P of 1 half equal, so lahat ng X magiging 1 half. 8 times 1 half squared plus 4 times 1 half minus 2. So, after nyan, simplify natin yung ating expression. So, we have 1 half squared, that is 1 fourth, times 8, that is 2. Okay? Plus 4 times 1 half, that is 2, then minus 2. Simplify. 2 plus 2, we have 4 minus 2. So, ang sagot natin dito is 2. So, therefore, ang ating remainder, when 8x squared plus 4x minus 2 is divided by 2x minus 1, is 2. Nakuha ba? So, let's have example number 3. Find the value of k so that 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus k divided by x minus 1 the remainder is 0 so dito guys medyo kakaiba no? imbis na yung remainder yung pinapahanap ang pinapahanap sa atin dito is yung constant ng ating dividend okay so try natin siyang isolve using the remainder theorem so alam naman natin ang dividend siya yung ating p of x so in this case we have 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus k. Okay? So, ang target natin dito is mahanap si k. So, ano pa iba yung mga iba natin given? So, meron given din sa atin si r. Okay, meron tayong r which is 1. So, pag nilagay natin yung formula, ang p of 1 natin so, lahat ng x natin magiging 1. So, we have 3 times 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 squared plus 1 plus k. 
Then, ang isa pang given natin dito is yung remainder. Given naman si remainder. Ang sabi dito, the remainder is 0. So, meaning, yung ating P of 1 dito, which is the remainder, pwede natin gawin ng 0. Okay? Then, simplify natin yung ating equation. We have 1 cube, that is 1, times 3, we have 3. Then, 1 squared, that is 1, times negative 2, we have negative 2. Plus 1, plus k. Next, combine natin yung mga dapat i-combine. So, we have 0, then 3 minus 2, 1, plus 1, we have 2, plus k. So, isolate natin yung k dito sa right side. Lipat na natin yung positive 2. So, that is um, negative 2 equals k or k equals negative 2. So, ito na ngayon yung ating value ni k. So, check natin kung tama yung sagot natin. Okay? So, meron tayo dito parang checking. So, ang ating P of X, kung ang K nga natin is negative 2, ang ating P of X is magiging 3X cubed minus 2X squared plus X minus 2. Yung minus 2, yun yung K dito sa dulo. Okay, instead of K, minus 2 na yung ilalagay natin. So, check nga natin, kapag ka dinivide ba natin ba kay X minus 1, ang remainder niya ba is 0. Okay, so dito ang R natin is 1. So, P of 1 is equals to 3 times 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 squared plus 1 minus 2. So, solve natin. So, ang P of 1 natin is 0. Base dun sa given, ang remainder daw natin is 0. So, dapat yung right side natin maging 0 din. Equals 1 cube, that is 1 times 3, so we have 3. Minus 2 times 1 squared, that is negative 2. Plus 1, then minus 2. Simplify natin yung equation. So, we have 3 minus 2, 1. Plus 1, 2. Then minus 2, we have 0. So, since nag-equals naman sila kay 0, so therefore, ang value ng k natin is equals to negative 2. Sundan ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!